Hey pumpkins, welcome back to my channel. We just got home from grocery shopping. I'm gonna do a grocery haul for you guys um, and show you what we got from Walmart, Sam's, and Aldi. So if you are ready for that, just keep on watching. We're gonna start with Walmart first. So I'll just get right into this. First, two things that we got is two gallons of distilled water and two gallons of Charlie's tea. We got two boxes of manicotti. A bag of these onions and pepper blend mix. I love these. And some banquet deep dishes for Charlie for breakfast. We got Iams food for the cats. Some brown sugar cinnamon cream cheese by Philadelphia. Lard, because I have a I got a cast iron skillet for Christmas and I need to season it. Uh, two things of honey roasted peanut butter. Charlie's going to try the off brand. And we have Peter Pan. Smoked paprika. Uh, and acids because we've been getting heartburn after Taco Tuesday. Movie theater butter for some popcorn. Chocolate caramel swirl. Nesquik. And two things of lemonade mixes. Two things of the Energy Watermelon Limeade. And two things of Strawberry Watermelon. We also got cat litter for the kitty cats. This stuff is so heavy. It's 40 pounds, is that right, Charlie? Uh, yes, ma'am. 40 pounds, we can lift weights with that crap. So we got um, these plates. These actually are so cool because they come individually wrapped in separate um, things. So this will be good because we normally put our plates in storage until we need them. And a big thing of these, I think, what, $20? 22 something. Yeah, and you get 300 plates. So I think that's a really good deal. Um, we got four pounds, four and a half pounds of hamburger. Um, and this was 1931. And we always flatten these out, put them in gallon bags, and um, put them in the freezer. We freeze our meat uh, just because it's easier for us where we prep for bigger meals. Um, that way we have leftovers. We also got these. I've never seen these before. These were very interesting to me. These are prime rib beef steak burgers. These were $12.35, and they had $2 instant savings. So we went ahead and picked up some of these. Um, I think these are really gonna be good on sliders, um, like Hawaiian rolls. Um, so we're gonna make little sliders out of that. Uh, so that will be really good as well. We, they had $5 off instant savings on ham, which is absolutely amazing. So we got two of them, um, one to put in the freezer um and this one yeah we're gonna put these both in the freezer actually so i might slice these up before i'm not really sure but this one is five 4.9 pounds and we can slice this up and have a big old big old ham so this one was ten dollars look at this this is the size of my head and then we got a bigger one that was five and a half pounds and it was $18. So five dollars off of that. That was a steal of a deal. You can freeze these and they'll still be good. So we definitely had to pick those up. So Charlie really likes jerky. We picked him up some jerky. This is a pound bag of jerky. This is like $17. The sweet and 1552. 1552. Sweet and hot jerky. Mm. And then he got a bag of the teriyaki jerky. Mm. Y'all know that boy can down some jerky. He he loves some jerky. <clears throat> Next, for some of Charlie's breakfast, he likes to swap them around. He hates egg, y'all. So he's gonna try to take the egg off of these. These are the cro Jimmy Dean croissant. Croissant. <laughs> um, sausage, egg, and cheese sandwiches. These are so good. It was between this and the biscuits, and he was about to grab the biscuits, and I was like, bah. Croissant is way better. Croissant. So, <laughs> we have 12 croissants, and these were like, how much? Honest to God, I don't know. I don't know how much these were, but it, it was a good deal. We wouldn't have got it if it wasn't a good deal, right? It's cheaper than going to drive through every day, and probably better. Yeah. So, also, we ran out of dishwasher pods. I will never do that again, okay? No. Capitalize never. So, we heard this thing one time. It's okay to run out. False information. It does not. You never want to run out of toilet paper, paper towels, 
and dishwasher pods. Dish, Di dishwasher. dishwasher pods. Dishwasher. So we got the finished dishwasher pods to try. These are the finished Powerball Quantum 100 tablets. And this was cheaper than the Cascade ones that we got. And we tried these in a sample. Yeah, we got this as a sample. We got this as a sample. And they were so much better. They were so good. They were literally, honestly, so good. So I'm very glad that we picked those up. <laughs> I gotta cry. <laughs> and y'all know, like, if you guys watch my morning pack lunch with me videos, y'all know that if, you know, whenever I was right before I left my job, if I felt like I was gonna cry, I would have an Adam and Eve, Apple and Eve, I'm sorry. <laughs> I would have an Apple and Eve um, apple juice. So we picked these up. These were. They're 24 of them, $13 or $12. Something like that. And this is the perfect size for the morning times. I love them. Um, you can't, you can't have you, apple juice. You know how it is. Um, I like to zip through the first one and I did not like doing that. Okay, so the last thing that we got from Sam's, um, are Del Monte cut green beans. Now you're like, Caitlin, Aldi has them cheaper. Charlie has discovered, we got two of these. Eight dollars. Charlie has discovered that he likes Del Monte green beans a whole heck of a lot better. Yeah, some things you just, um, you just don't need to. You don't need to skimp on. And, so and green beans is one of my best beliefs. Yeah. So we got the Del Montes. Um, Charlie does like these a lot better. I think yeah, it's. I think they're a lot better. They're I think they're more hardier. Yeah. I think they're hardier. So that is everything that we got at Sam's. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, our next stop is going to be Aldi and I will show you everything that we got at Aldi. All right, Charlie's making a bunch of noise, but I'm going to go ahead and get on into the bread that we got at Aldi and our fresh fruit. We got these keto friendly um, wraps. These are like, Charlie, any more noise? I'm sorry. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. I'm just kidding. So these were like a couple of bucks. Um, also, I love blueberry bagels. <laughs> They're bagels. I love blueberry bagels. So, we got some bagels. I don't, Charlie, do you eat bagels? No. Charlie doesn't eat bagels. My, our favorite kind of bread, I'm speaking for Charlie because I do that a lot. Do you like this bread? Uh, yeah. Well, why not? Um, artisan bread? Sarah, my oldest sister, introduced us to artisan bread a while ago. I think it was last summer. And I really like it. And our Aldi just started carrying it. In the vlog, you'll be able to see how much it is. But I got me a loaf of it for my lunches and stuff if I don't have anything for, like, leftovers or anything. Um, or just want, like, a sandwich if I get, like, the late night munchies, even though I'm not up past 10 o'clock. Um, if I wake up sleepwalking and want a sandwich and just want to make it. Um, next are brioche hot dog buns. These are from Aldi. They're what, like two or three dollars? And these make the best sub sandwiches. So we make meatball subs and it has become our go-to to put um, meatballs in this and make a meatball sub. And it works just the best. Uh, Hawaiian rolls for our little um, hamburger, prime, prime hamburger that we got from Sam's. We're gonna make little hamburger sliders with our artisan bread. And then for some fruits, we got some strawberries. And fruit is really cheap at Aldi. If you guys haven't, um, if you haven't looked at their fruit and stuff, definitely check it out. They're normally a ton cheaper there than at like Walmart and Sam's, stuff like that. Uh, we have a food city, so it's even cheaper than food city. These next ones we're going to try in a TikTok video, a TikTok video. Um, we are going to try, these are called pine berry, um, pine berries. And they're supposed to taste of a, of a mixture like pineapple and strawberries. So, um, I'm excited to try this. Charlie, are you excited? Yes, these were kind of expensive, but honestly, if they're good, it'll be worth it. So, I can't wait to wash these up and give them a go. If you guys have tried these, let me know. All right, um, I've got two more things to show you. We got, Whoa. we got 12 things of chicken broth, the low sodium kind. We use chicken broth for literally everything. And we just got 12 cause they were 99 cents. And we're about to run out of ones in our back stock. Um, also, we got chicken breast hot fries. 
these were eleven dollars and but honestly i feel like they'll be good for like quick meals whenever we don't know what we're gonna have or you know whatever have you uh we have hot fries okay so uh we got we got a gallon of milk and i got a caramel macchiato creamer that is like the best you can also find italian sweet cream hazelnut sugar-free french vanilla and regular french vanilla but the caramel macchiato is my all-time favorite we got two bags of seasoned zesty fries uh we like to have these just in case like i said um we don't know what we're gonna have or we want an easy supper for one night super easy to throw in the air fryer let them do their thing eat them and enjoy those and the chicken stick thing yeah and one night and just have a easy supper if we don't feel like cooking uh for our meatball subs we've never tried these these are the brimmer family size italian meatballs i've never tried these um so i hope that they're good if you all have tried them let us know in the comments um if you like them or if they were not that good uh i don't know if i showed this in the vlog but we found some of these that are good for stock uh short-term stock that is because these are good till uh 4 18 of 23 um so we will definitely have to eat these before then but they do not have to be kept in the refrigerator this is the cheese tortellini um they're vacuum sealed these were not in the refrigerator section um and then this one is ricotta and spinach so we're gonna try i got one of these because charlie's very iffy about stuff like that but i figured that would be uh something good to put up we got a few of those we got two things of parmesan cheese this is the grated parmesan and romano that's charlie's i don't know if he likes the regular one better one the best. you like this one the best uh i always get the one with the red top we got some tikka masala simmer sauce uh -huh. for chicken and rice a lot of people wanted us to try some um indian cuisines and stuff like that so i figured this would be um something good and different to try for me and charlie because we got um i'll show you guys later some rice i got some ricotta cheese for our manicotti that we're gonna make later this week uh some sauces just in case one night whenever i'm doing supper i don't feel like making my own sauce we have the four cheese sauce and then we have the tomato basil and garlic this one is really good as well we got four things of their brand of rotel which is really good we've had that once before and it's pretty delicious two cans of mild chili beans and then two cans of great northern beans like i said they're canned goods and stuff like that always have good deals on them if y'all have slept on aldi stop sleeping on aldi okay because they have some good deals charlie likes all gardens dressing and this is um a close that's not the name brand uh, this is the Italian style restaurant style uh, Tuscan garden dressing. He really likes that stuff. So let's get our second load. You can't do that. You can't. <laughs> oh no. Earthquake! So we're going to start off with club crackers. Me and Charlie have really been, whenever we're gaming late Those at night. Clubhouse crackers. Our late at night is like 9 p.m. When we're gaming late at night. Yeah, we're so um, uh, We like to do squirt cheese on these and stuff. So that's really good. Um, and then we got all kinds of stuffing. Um, because stuffing, literally, this is the South. We use stuffing and casseroles and stuff. Uh, but we got all kinds of stuffing. Stuffing goes good on everything. Uh casseroles by itself sausage balls sausage balls you can make anything with stuffing uh yeah. so we got four boxes of just the normal chicken stuffing yeah. and then um i wanted to i've been wanting to try this the past like three times we've been to aldi if there's anything better for me that i will eat let's do it okay so keto stuffing chicken flavor i'm gonna give this a go okay i'm gonna tell y'all if it's worth it if it ain't uh probably gonna taste like chicken flavored cardboard charlie's wanted to taste like chicken flavored cardboard i, I want it too so let me tell y'all about this best find that we found recently at aldi and i do highly re re 
recommend. No, <laughs> I do highly recommend this to anybody looking for good lunches to go to, um, easy suppers if you're by yourself and you want something good and tasteful. Uh, for $2.50, I'm not sponsored by the way. For $2.50, Charlie is, I can't handle him. We got um, a four cheese calzone. These are by Mama. Is it cozy or koozie? I call it koozie. Uh, Mama Cozy. We got, this is the four cheese one. They have, we've personally tried the Philly cheesesteak ones and they are amazing. We had that with a salad and that was the best supper we had had like together like that. Uh, pepperoni. <laughs> <laughs> we also got pepperoni as well we're gonna put these in our fridge if charlie needs something for work or you know what we might throw a couple of these in the freezer um depending on the date can you freeze them yeah you can freeze these we oh, might pop or... we might pop a few of these in the freezer um to keep them fresh i got two big things of jasmine rice this was on sale in, on Aldi Savings for like $4 and something, and you get five pounds of rice. That lasted us a couple of months, didn't it? That okay. lasted it's, us a while. It's something good to have on like reserve. Yeah. Um, I love getting baggies, so we got some regular sandwich bags and quart baggies. I like to have all different sizes because you never know what you're going to need. Uh, we, got, we like their butter, their real butter, so we get that. Um, their block cheese. Um, this is really good for homemade macaroni. <laughs> really tried to cut my toe off. <laughs> That's really good for like macaroni and stuff. Uh, we got ketchup. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, it's okay. Uh, I'll try to forget about that. That was terrible. Um, Aldi <laughs> brand. I love you. I love you. Aldi brand ketchup. We like it pretty good. Um, Charlie doesn't really eat ketchup, but I did. That phone. <laughs> His phone always goes off whenever I'm doing something. For, um, Some saltine crackers uh, because I want to make a recipe for Charlie. And we also got a bag of all-purpose flour because we were out um we needed batteries we've been needing batteries for a long time and until i can get on amazon and order them um which i order stuff on amazon all the time i just don't know why i haven't picked up batteries yet but we got a pack a pack of doubles and triples um because my frother for my coffee maker is down and we can't be having that so uh we're gonna get the next round of stuff okay we have freshes up in here and we got fresh and everything up in this last bag so i got some spinach i'm gonna try to throw this in some of our stuff because me and charlie need to get a little healthier um i mean i'm trying to watch my image keep my same figure uh sweet butter lettuce i want it to if i make a sandwich a uh, sandwich i want to put it on there with ranch we are gonna try asparagus should have had a spare i guess <laughs> so i got a flat tire one day and i called charlie and he told me caitlin you should have had a spare i guess <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> no <laughs> we got asparagus don't know how to cook it but we're gonna try it i got two packs of these beef smoked sausages um i think those are gonna be delicious i got two packs of bacon um because we're gonna try bacon wrapped asparagus a lot of people on live were telling us that bacon wrapped asparagus is really good um and in my manicotti i'm gonna put some of this fresh mozzarella mozzarella in there um i think it'll be good in our little if we have room for it in there um i was thinking we were gonna do the shells and i was gonna put a sliver in there but we might have to improvise with this just a little bit this was on sale so i got it um i'm gonna try <laughs> i'm gonna try to make something out of this uh this is a uh, flaky and lard free <laughs> That is not something. You are flaky and lard free. Uh, pie crust. I'm not going to make a pie with this. I'm going to make something else. Another tasty treat. Um, Parmesan cheese. 
uh, shredded, finely shredded to be exact, my other log of smoked sausage, four packs of taco mix. We get the low sodium kind, not for any particular reason other than I hate salt. Um, so as little salt as we can get, the better. For you, I love salt. Do you really? Yes. You love salt? Yes. Oh my god. So your food, you're probably like, this needs salt. <laughs> A lot of times I'll put salt in it, yeah. Really? Yes. I don't ever see you put salt on your food. I know. <laughs> Oh my god, I just learned that you salt <laughs> up my food. Sometimes, but rarely. <sighs> we got this steamed California medley. I'm not going to lie, that's not for us. That's for the sugar godders. We're trying to get healthy, but I can't do broccoli. Th actually, we're not really trying to get healthy. We're just, I just think if I can slowly introduce good foods and find that we like them, um... That'll be better. Maybe I won't cry and whine. Yeah. <laughs> we got for our meatball subs, provolone sliced cheese. And then for our hamburgers, we're going to do pepper jack sliced cheese. So that concludes our grocery haul. I really hope you all enjoy this video. If you like me breaking down our grocery hauls and telling you a little bit more about the things that we get, um, how much they are, I will try to include that most of the time next time. Um, but if you guys like this, please let me know. I love feedback. Like, comment, subscribe. Um, make sure that you're following me over on the TikTok, uh, because I do shortened versions of these. Uh, so if you don't want to watch the whole video, you've got shortened versions as well. Um, but that is everything in our grocery haul. I took y'all shopping with me. I hope y'all liked it, and I hope you like this grocery haul. I hope some of this stuff y'all are going to go find at Aldi and Sam's and Walmart. And yeah, until next time, just remember to spread love, kindness, and positivity to yourself and others. Stay cool and be you. Bye!